I realized that a lot of Pixel App users are having difficulty adding fonts into their Pixel App app, and um, I've even gotten a couple of messages recently from people that they don't know what's wrong. They've been finding it difficult to add fonts into their Pixel App app. So if you are one of them, then you will find this video very useful because in this video, I will show you how I've been able to add about 3,000 to 4,000 fonts into my Pixel App app. 3,000 to 4,000 custom fonts into my Pixel App app. There are a lot of them here, guys. I can't show you everything. But then I will show you how I've been able to do that. In fact, I will show you two different ways I've been able to do that and two different ways you can also add fonts into your Pixel App app stick around and follow me carefully while i take you on this journey i'm going to see you in the video all right so once again you are welcome now the first thing i would like to mention is that many times when people when people are having issue with um installing pixel app installing fonts into the pixel app many times the issue is with the app i mean with the pixel app app so you know what you have to do now i've decided to give you my own pixel app app so all you have to do is to check the description box below and you will see the link to this telegram community so this is my telegram community this is iniski designs youtube community so join this community because in this community i will show you um i will drop a pixel app app so once you join this community just search for pixel app app or just ask for the pixel app app and you can be so sure that you will get my own pixel app app, app sorry app in this community and also i also drop amazing things you need to know if you are a part of this channel in that community so just check the description box below so um you see the link there so that you can join the community all right now back to the video now i said there are two ways you can add fonts into your pixel app app now the first way is from your file manager so all you have to do is to go to your files manager yeah the name of my own files manager is called my files that's because of the phone i use so this may not be the name on your own phone it depends so you know what i mean so all you have to do is to go to your file manager then go to inst internal storage so i want to show you the first way to install for automatically into your pixel app app now that is after downloading my own app that is if you have an issue with that i would advise you to download my own pixel app app it's um it's just like the normal pixel app app just that my own doesn't show ads and my own is a modified pixel app app so just check and download the app so like i said come to your first manager then click on in internal storage then create a font that is if you don't have this folder look at this folder here please pay attention to my cursor look at this folder here it is called fonts so if, if you don't have this folder in your internal um storage ensure you create this folder just it's very easy to create folder just create folder then ensure that the name of the folder is called fonts all in small letters so f o n t s that should be the name of your folder look at it f o n t s so this is my own folder now once you create that folder all you have to do now is to begin to move in your fonts into the folder so once you download the font extract the font and move the font into the folder right move the font into the folder okay so that is the first way it's quite simple let me show you um that practically all right so i'm just going to um go to my chrome now and download a font so i'm going to do that quickly and um, then continue the video so i don't want to um, waste the time with that okay so i just downloaded this font you can see it file downloaded so let's go to my files um my files manager my files manager app then let's go to yeah look at it so let me just click on it now you can see it sorry can see i want to show you how i'm going to extract that so click on download now look at this is the zip file because many times when you download your font file it's going to be downloaded 
in the zip file in the zip file so you have to first of all extract the zip file now you can decide to use um the archiver that is if your phone does not have that zip file like if it cannot um extract zip files automatically so you can decide to use an external app you can also ask um for this in the telegram community i or someone else is going to um make that available for you that is if you don't have and you can also get it from play store actually so i'm going to click on this trochi and that you can see so all i have to do just to extract it here then extract it and i've been able to extract it so this is the font look at it trochi regular look at it trochi regular so like i told you the first way is to move the font into the fonts folder that is the fonts folder you've created on your phone that is if you don't have one on your phone before if you have one don't bother creating another one please so this is it i'm just going to uh, move it or copy it but i want to move this so i'm going to move it to in internal storage fonts right then i'm just going to move it here look at it move here all right i've been able to move the font here it has successful uh, successfully moved here so let me go to my pixel lab now and go and confirm so just click on important um or whatever test you are you are working with click on fonts right now click on my font and search for that font trochi trochi so let's confirm can you see it guys look at it this font was not um in my pixel lab before it was not in my pixel lab before at all so you can see that it automatically got installed into the pixel lab app this is an amazing font actually come on this is beautiful so yeah that is how to install fonts into your pixel lab that is the first way now the second way is quite simple um let me delete that trochi so i want to delete trochi and i want to show you how i'm going to just install that right away so let me look for trochi i want to delete it right in your presence so that you can see yeah so it's deleted so let me ch um, check it again and you realize that i won't be able to see it again it's no longer here so we have trochi trochi can you see it's no longer there so now the first thing i'm going to do is to ensure that your font is extracted right you have to ensure that your font is extracted yeah this is it so i want to extract it again then i want to extract again so that i just want to start the whole process from the beginning so that you will be able to follow through now the second way is to tap on this okay you can tap on any test right you can decide to tap on any test so um then move it here move it here go to your font right look at this is font okay just click on this font then click on my font and then this one can you see just click on this now look at this this one is to import just a font why this one is to import in font um sorry i mean install a font family do you get that this is for um just a font can you see okay look at this for example this is sanchez this is um alete alete yeah. this is luckiest guy the reason why this was divided into this or like they were grouped family by family right can you see they were grouped this one everything here look at it is romena look at everything here is romena look at everything here is um tt firs no can you see everything the same thing here can you see everything here is um grouped the reason why it is grouped like this is because i use this can you see i use this wow but then if you want to install just a font maybe just one font that is one font in a font family and you don't for example now trochi regular is just a font it is not a font family because there is only one font okay i think it's called typeface one font in that zip file I don't know if you get that so because of that i'm going to just click on this and then all you have to do is to look for where it is all right now you don't need to look for actually you just need to be sure of where it is because from here i know that trochi is in the download folder can you see download folder so all i have to do is just to come back here then look for download look at this is the download folder now if you don't see the folder you are looking for here let's say you search through and there's a folder on your phone but you can't find it 
among the options here all you have to do just to click on this this is going to take you back right so that it's going to show you all the folders in your internal storage so that is what this is for so if you don't um see the folder you're looking for you now know what to do but then this is the folder i am looking for and now i can see it so click on download right okay i think i need to go to back now click on back right now you can see there are so many um fonts here there are so many font family so you can see for example now this is catavalu look at this is catavalu um display but then this is a font family if i show you now you you, you see a lot of fonts actually so that is um catavalu but then i want to import just a font not a font family because you right um you saw the one i clicked on so and that is um trochi so let's look for trochi yeah this is trochi look at the font can you see trochi regular so now you can tap on this you see i've selected it look at selected one is selected if you want to select more than one let's say you have more than one of um, fonts you want to import at the same time then you can decide to select then you click on add selected so click on add selected okay so you can't see it here because i didn't import it as a directory um sorry i mean i didn't import it as a font family i import it as a single font but then let's search for trochi now quickly let's search for trochi trochi can you see you, you realize that i actually deleted the other time so now you can see trochi regular and then our font is back again so but then if you want to import a font family it's quite simple or if you want to import trochi trochi regular as a font family it's quite simple let me just show you how to do that quickly again so let me delete trochi let me delete this again quickly 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 and quickly so cancel um click on font and then search for trochi okay let me just um use this okay so now just come here and search and search for trochi and you are not going to see trochi again oh come on trochi is gone can you see trochi is no longer there so all you have to do is whether to import uh, import a font just one font as a family so that's going to come up here or whether you want to import a font family is quite simple you are not going to click on this you are going to click on this other one can you see this even the um, icon of a folder this is the icon of just one font now click on this all you have to do like i said earlier mine is under download so i'm going to click on that or oh, come on up click on the wrong folder look at tra transition pack that is not what i want so click on back and then let me look for trochi so this is trochi can you see this is trochi regular so once i click on it i can now add directory it is called directory so yeah that is different from the other one this one you can't select you just add the folder like once you click on the folder and you see the font you can just click on add directory and the font family is going to be installed but now I don't have a font family but i want to import trochi as a font family so click on add directory and then you will see what is going to happen now so click on cancel and let's click on font and let's see can you see can you see trochi has now been imported um installed as a font family look at it trochi regular so i can decide to delete this okay you can, you can see i can decide to delete um this partition this partitioning so if i delete this do you want to remove blah 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 lo, um locket guy so i can decide to remove all of that it depends on what i want actually i hope my locket guy is still here come on i've deleted it so you can decide to delete font family too let me import it back again quickly just to show you um practice basically just to practice so i think i have it in here i have luckiest guy come on where's luckiest guy okay yeah this is luckiest guy so click on it and then this is luckiest regular just click on add directory and our luckiest guy is back let's look for it all right can you see it luckiest guy so guys this is the simple way to import fonts into your pixel app app but then don't forget i mentioned earlier that many of these things i showed you or these two different ways i show you may not work for you if your pixel app is the issue you know what to do just check the description box and um join the telegram community and then ask for what you need whether the pixel app app desire cover 
um app maybe a font maybe one of the fonts from my previous tutorial all right now this will lead me to say if you are new to this channel do well to like this video do well to turn on your notification bell and do well to smash the like button so ensure that you actually like this um this video ensure that you click on the like button ensure that you share this video with at least one person and drop a comment i want to hear from you in the comment section now you can decide to click on any of the tutorials on my screen right now and go watch and learn and yeah thank you so much for watching to this point i'm going to see you in the next video you are important